It seems that the days of the print magazine are gone, unfortunately. Today, we are going to be making a recipe from a magazine from 1956. January of 1956, to be exact, which would be a recipe from Life magazine in an advertisement for Niblet's corn. So Green Giant put out cans of corn that they called Niblets, and Niblets are their trademarked way of saying fresh corn in a can and cooked. Uh, they still make Niblets today, as you can see, I'm holding one. And this was an advertisement in Life magazine with four different ways that you could create very quickly in under 10 minutes, supposedly, uh, to create a meal for your family on a budget using Green Giant's Niblet's corn. Today we're going to be making a seven minute corn and chicken skillet supper. Such a long title. Normally, when I'm cooking, I tell you how much of everything there is while I'm putting it into the dish. However, I'm gonna actually tell you up front uh, how much of everything we're putting in this because as I'm going, I don't wanna slow down to tell you uh, because this is just kind of a dump and go recipe. Uh, and so obviously, being that this is from a Niblets commercial, uh, we are using one can of niblets and something I found interesting is in the recipe it calls for a 12 ounce can of niblets but a 12 ounce can of niblets doesn't exist today. These are actually 11 ounces. Uh, it calls for a half cup of milk or cream. I'm using milk. Uh, one can of condensed cream of chicken soup. Three tablespoons of diced pimento which is the first time that I think we've used that on the show. Uh, pimento seems to be in half the recipes out there from the 1930s, 20s, 30s on uh, into the 1960s and 1970s. Uh, so three tablespoons of pimento diced, uh, two cans of diced cooked chicken, uh, and these are the five ounce cans, which it calls for, and then two egg yolks. Welcome to the stove, everybody. We're going to start out with the can of soup and the milk. We're gonna put that in the pan and combine it. And then after we've combined it, we are going to turn the heat on and let this heat up a little bit before we move on to the next step. While that's heating up, I'm just going to whisk our two egg yolks and get those um, whisked. And then we're going to add a little bit of our hot soup mixture into this to temper it. And then after that, we're going to dump the whole thing back into the skillet. Now that the eggs have tempered, I'm going to add that in and mix it into the whole soup mix. And the recipe says to let this thicken for a while. So I'm going to let those eggs, oh, I love that. Uh, I'm gonna let these eggs cook for a little while and play go fish with the spoon. We're now gonna add our pimento in and add some salt and pepper to taste and just give that a stir. As you can see, this is starting to thicken. I don't think I need much salt because there's already a lot of sodium in that soup. So if you are a salt person, make sure that you taste it before you add too much in there. Chicken. Two cans of chicken going in, and I've got to say that canned chicken is not the most appetizing thing to look at, uh, but these are drained. I drained them earlier, and it says to break them up, uh, and then obviously you're mixing it into what we've got going on here, and this is going to heat up as we go. And after the chicken, there's really only one thing left, which is the star of this recipe, the corn. That's gonna go in and it has been drained as well. And then we're just gonna stir this all together one final time and then I think we've got our final product here. Now you might be thinking, but there's no starch. There's no real complete meal here other than the corn. Corn is a starch, but it's very soupy, it's very loose. What are we gonna do? Well, toast, that's what it says to do.
I'm sure you've guessed this by now, but it's a very processed taste because a lot of this is just out of a can. However, this is good, and if you don't mind kind of that processed canned flavor, uh, this is a very quick and easy meal. I guarantee you can do it under the seven minutes as long as you prepare ahead of time. Uh, as far as opening your cans and everything, I didn't count that in my challenge time. But it's not bad. Uh, it's not the prettiest thing to look at either. It's very yellow and beige, uh, except for the pimento, obviously. Um, but it, it's not too bad. It's very uh, mushy. Uh, so I think the toast helps it a little in that respect, in that uh, there's a little more texture than just mush. Um, but, you know, if, if you don't mind kind of the canned soup recipes from the 50s, 60s, and onward, uh, this could be something that you could make for a quick weeknight meal, which is exactly what I did tonight. I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of this. You have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you next time on Recipe Reviver.